Hi, Cal from BHP UK. I'd just like to show you how to use our ECU flasher. This is a device that allows you to read and program your own vehicle with one of our bespoke maps. You basically take a read from your vehicle, send the file to us, and one of our in-house map writers will write a file bespoke to your vehicle. So we'll get started with that and we'll quickly show you what's in the box. So in the box we have the programming device itself, a URL address to download your software, USB lead, and a lead to connect to your vehicle. The first thing you'll need to do is download the software. This is a simple case of uh, typing in the URL that's on the instruction manual and that will automatically start the download. As soon as the file is downloaded, it will automatically run the application. All you need to do is click on accept. Just follow the prompt and it will install the software for you. You'll be prompted to plug the ECU flasher into the computer. If you launch the My Genius app, You'll be asked to update your ECU flasher. Just press OK to accept that. The ECU flasher is now ready to use. You can take it down to your vehicle and take a read from your vehicle. So your ECU flasher will come supplied with the correct lead for your vehicle, whether that's a car, a standard OBD2 plug, a bike lead, a tractor lead, or a truck lead. You simply plug the OBD connector into the OBD socket. If you're struggling to find it, one of our tech guys will be more than happy to help you out. Cars are generally covered by the standard OBD2 connector. Most bikes up until Euro 5 will have an individual connector for every different brand. So what you need to do is you need to take a read from your vehicle using the ECU flasher. I'm just quickly show you how to do that. You take the, the right connector that's supplied with, with the flasher and connect it up to the OBD socket. This particular one needs uh, a positive and a negative connecting to the battery, which we'll do here. On this particular bike, we've put a voltage uh, supply on, uh, on the battery just to support the battery while we take the read. It's not always a necessity, but again, the tech guys will help you out if you need any help. So to start taking the read, we just simply click on work, select the, the vehicle that we have. You get a second check screen there to tell you the, the year of your vehicle. You simply follow the prompts on the screen. Switch on the dashboard means switch on the ignition. You'll be asked to switch on the dashboard a few times. The ECU flasher will automatically select the protocols that it needs to use. You just click on reading and then carry on following the prompts on the screen. The length of time it takes to read the ECU depends on the vehicle. Some vehicles are as short as two or three seconds and some can take 10 or 15 minutes. Once you've got the read from the vehicle, it's a simple case of selecting the download from My Genius button. Once the procedure is completed, you should find the file in the window that's just opened. You simply send that file to us via email. Once you've received the file back from us, you simply click on Upload to My Genius. Select the file that we've sent to you that will upload it to your ECU flasher. It's a simple case of going back to the bike and uploading your mod file to the bike. So once we've got the file on the programmer, it's a simple case of connecting the programmer back up to the OBD socket. Connect the power leads up again. Again, obviously this is specific to this particular bike and that's not the case on all vehicles. We simply click on Work and writing and now we've got a choice of two files we've got stock hardware and austin cat and uh, can and dcat sorry uh, because we're still running the the stock can on this uh, we select stock hardware press ok now you've got to follow the instructions on the screen please connect your vehicle to a stabilized battery supply which you've already done you can see the terminals here for it so we press ok switch on the dashboard that means switch on your ignition press ok and the program has now started to program the ECU. It will give you a countdown. Every vehicle varies in the amount of time that it takes. Some vehicles will be programmed in three or four seconds, and some of them can take up to 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes as the ECU is programming, you may get some errors on your dashboard. This is perfectly normal. Uh, and if you do need a reset, there is generally a reset facility on the programmer to do so. Again, it is vehicle specific as to whether you get these or not. But if you do get the uh, errors while it's programming, it's fairly normal. So the uh, ECU has been fully programmed up and you get an instruction to switch off the dashboard. Switch it off. Press OK. Again, just keep following the instructions on the screen. And that's it. And when it goes back to the home screen, you can disconnect from the OBD port. Once you have a modified file on the bike, you can go back to original whenever you please. It's a, the procedure is the same. You click on work and you click on writing and you can go back to the original file there. Select original, press OK. This will now program the original file back to the bike. So that's how you use our ECU flasher. If you do have any problems with it or you need any help, 
uh, one of our tech guys will be more than happy to help you out. Just give us a call. The number for tech support is in the description below or you can drop us an email.